In this video, I will show you zones on Novation MK2. Why do we have zones? Why do we need zones on MIDI controllers? What we can do with zones and how it works. Beside of that, I will give you some very, very powerful information about Catron Arranger SD90. You will be able to hear something that maybe, maybe you didn't hear on uh, a keyboard that you are playing at home, on another a company's keyboards. So uh, let us first go to see how we can make zones and then I will explain you why we need those zones. I will choose one template. There is template for 49 keys Novation MK2. In this template, if I press edit, I will go to this part where I can choose, it says zones, I can choose off, template or global. I'm going to choose template because I'm created template and I want to save templates and later I want to use that template. And what is good thing about templates, you will see that on next part of the video. Now, I will press zone edit and here I can choose how many zones do I want to have. In this video in particular, I want to have two zones. Zone number one, from that zone lower note is minus C, uh, C minus two and higher note is E flat because I'm splitting that keyboard and transpose in zero velocity curve is loud one or loud two. I will explain you why that later. Uh, MIDI uh, chain is keyboard channel, whatever is keyboard channel and I'm using channel number one, MIDI channel number one and port is, this keyboard has several ports, MIDI port one, MIDI port two, USB port. They are very important if you want to control several keyboards or virtual instruments at the same time with keyboards. So I'm going to choose port M2 because on MIDI 2 I am connected through that port with Catron SD90. So now let me just uh, switch to this camera maybe. Yeah, actually this camera was already maybe the best camera presently. Actually, this camera, I, I will repeat, is the best. So, just quickly, edit, template, zone edit, zone 1, minus 2, E flat, transpose 0, loudness, keyboard chain, M2. M2, and now I'm able to play SD90. SD90 is playing. I will stop SD90. So I have split and zone for SD90. I'm going to zone number two. In zone number two, I am starting from E2 note and I'm going to G8 and I have transpose plus 12. Why plus 12? Because I have uh, 49 keys and I want to make sure that I am using properly octave height for my right hand. If you have 49 keys or less, put it transpose plus 12. If you have 61 or above, above, then put it on zero. You don't need, just keep transpose on zero. Now, velocity curve. If you are a musician who wants to play accordion and accordion style of the playing, you will choose loudness one or loudness two. But if you are a musician who, play, who wants to have some dynamics, some violins, other instruments, medium one, or maybe medium one and two is something golden setting for a setting for everything. Now, if you want to play classical music and you want to play a piano, choose medium three or quiet one, quiet two. You have option to choose fixed velocity curve, but you will not have any dynamic. So I will keep it on loud two because I am using loud two because I play sometimes accordion, sometimes piano. I'm not focused, but I want uh, on uh, just piano uh, feeling or uh, accord uh, accordion feeling. I am uh, focused on something that will uh, work in between for everything. So what is that velocity curve? When you press key, it will react differently on your strength of the. Or, or, or how do you press it? So, uh, your velocity curve is going to uh, react different on different setting. You will be uh, uh, able to hear uh, when you play, a keyboard will give you a response of that uh, velocity playing. So that's why experiment with that and choose whatever is the best for you. Now, 
U port is uh, USB one, and I am playing presently. I'm playing virtual instrument, but left hand. Now you know why you need zones and how to create zones and you will save that template by pressing right and again you will, when you press one, first time right you will choose position where you want to save template and then second time right you will save template to that position. Now I will show you how you can smoothly jump from template to template from sound to sound without any interruption very smooth transition of the sound to anything that you want to play. But now I will show you how you can do that, but you have to keep in mind that you can do that only bit on keyboard that is capable to do that. So catch on as the 90 is amazing, amazing keyboard. And this thing that you are going to hear now, you can not hear on many, many keyboards, but you can you can hear it on catch on and you can experience it on catch on. Now, I will play, I will jump here, for example. First, let me uh, uh, go to this. For now, I will go to uh, this part and actually, I'm, uh, I have two templates. Now, first template, up template. Output is USB output. I can save. 32 virtual instruments on this template and I can call them whenever I want to call. But if I just jump down, I am now presently on Catron site and I have 32 Catron instruments and I, have, can, I can play them. I am playing Catron. And I am holding chord of the Catron, but I am already on virtual instrument. And I can just continue to play organ. And I can jump to Catron and I can play flute. Did you hear any interruption? No. Because amazing controller, amazing Catron. Capable to go smoothly from sound to sound. Listen now, Catron. Listen this and think, can you do that on other keyboards? I am playing violins. And then I can switch to flute. And I can switch to piano. And I can switch to organ. No interruption. Smooth transition. Three instruments from Catron. And holding them. And going to virtual instrument smoothly. Now, I'll again jump to Catron. Template. Play violin. Actually. And then play, for example, let us say flute. And then let us say I will play saxophone. And then let me say I will play piano and then I will jump to virtual instrument and play organ one two three four five five instruments I am playing at the same time and four of them are from Catron so if I'm playing Catron that mighty Catron I can just play sounds like So, you can very smoothly go from sound to sound without any interruption on Catron keyboard, several sounds that you can choose, and even you can add contact instruments and play it. So, 
That is why I told you in several of my videos, Novation, powerful controller that has several MIDI ports. You need MIDI ports if you want to uh, make sure to whom you are sending messages. I have abilities to connect several instruments because I have several MIDI ports. You have another MIDI controllers, for example, any native instrument, but it is for native instruments, not for hardware. You have a lot of controllers, but they don't have so many ports. If they don't have port, you cannot control several instruments at the same time. You cannot jump from template to template. You cannot combine. I can combine now four zones with four keyboards or three keyboards, virtual instruments, any kind of combination, make template and just one second I am on that template. And I can play whatever combination I want to play. But beside the controller that is mighty, you must have mighty instrument that is capable to go smoothly from sound to sound like it is Caton SD90. Okay, if you like this video, please sign in and put some comments. Thank you very much. See you in my next video and have a nice day.